I would describe the talent shortage in the cybersecurity world as being quite dire. Ever since the problems of cybersecurity became visible to companies, they discovered that the people that they had hired in cybersecurity didn't have the technical skills to figure out what happened after an attack and clean them up. We don't have the talent that we need to address this. It's putting the good guys in a heck of a position. The Air Force had a solution. They were declining in size. Thousands of IT people were leaving and going to work. I had some cyber defense experience before looking at sensors. The problem was those people didn't have deep technical IT skills. Someone has to teach you how to do digital forensics, intrusion detection analysis, incident handling. So that's why we created Vet Success, to help us help vets be able to transition into the field and to help employers get some talent that they needed to begin to address this huge imbalance. First week on the job, I was able to apply the stuff from the courses. They're teaching you skills. Some of the, my friends that are um, transitioning, they received the notification as well, and they reached out to me and was like, hey, what, what was your experience like? I was like, go ahead and do it. Hands down, do it. I start telling them about the program, and their eyes light up. And, and they get excited. Having our transition assistance programs involved with programs like this uh, is a great opportunity for our veterans. Vet success is important to us because it provides, um, I believe, a new source of talent to help us uh, fill this, this gap. Just at the beginning of World War II, the U.S. didn't have enough pilots to win that war. We ramped up very fast during World War II with flight schools at 22 sites around the country. The cyber academies are the equivalent for cyber defense. It changed my life. That's the, the thing that I, I can honestly say. I've, I've been provided a skill set that will carry me. These guys are prepared uh, to go and, and fill these positions. Uh, it's, it's kind of the promise that was made to them when they came into the service that they will be able to find a job. The Air Force provided a lot for me and my family, so um, being able to get a job and then to continue to support the DOD, it means a lot to me.